How good is Marvel's Spider-Man? Every kid growing up at one point dreamed that one day a mutant spider would bite them and somehow waken their spidey powers. Now although Insomniac isn't releasing any futuristic lab grown mutant spiders, it does however bring us closer than ever to experiencing that childhood dream. With its blend of breathtaking graphics, exhilarating gameplay, and a deeply immersive narrative, Marvel Spider-Man doesn't just let you play as Spider-Man, it makes you feel like Spider-Man. I want to start off by going over the aspect of Spider-Man that truly defines the experience, the swinging mechanics. Insomnia Games has fine-tuned this in near perfection. It's more than just a mode of transportation, it's an exhilarating experience that captures the essence of being Spider-Man. As you swing through New York City, the fluidity and responsiveness of controls combined with the dynamic camera angles create a sense of speed and freedom. This mechanic isn't just about getting from point A to B, it's a testament to the game's ability to breathe life into the character and the city, making you feel like you're patrolling the streets of New York as the iconic hero. Moving on to the combat system. Spider-Man offers a rich and varied fighting experience that keeps engagements exciting and visually spectacular. With an arsenal of gadgets at your disposal and a plethora of combos to execute, the game empowers players with multiple ways to approach each battle. This variety ensures that combat never feels repetitive and always encourages creativity. Whether you're webbing enemies to walls, using environmental objects, or chaining together combos for that perfect finish, the game constantly rewards skillful play and strategic thinking. The fighting mechanics are not just about defeating enemies, they're about doing it in style, true to the character of Spider-Man. As you navigate the city, random crimes and dynamic events immerse you in the role of a superhero. These spontaneous moments not only enrich the gameplay, but also replicate an accurate day in the life of Spider-Man. Clever, nostalgic elements are integrated throughout the game, particularly through side tasks like collecting Peter Parker's backpacks, each filled with memories referencing his past adventures and connections to the wider Spider-Man universe. The research tasks, on the other hand, lack the creative spark seen in other aspects of the game. While they do contribute to gameplay diversity, some of the mission concepts are rather boring. Now, that being said, it still wasn't the worst part of the game. The worst part of the game are the undercover missions. Although I think the intent behind the idea was good, these missions fall short of the game's otherwise high standard. The repetitive nature and lack of depth in these missions make it a really tough playthrough. They drag on for too long and don't even feel rewarding once you do eventually finish them. Honestly, I think the game would have been better off if these missions just removed and it turns like a short cutscene instead. Now, one of the more compelling aspects of the game is Spider-Man's story. Far from being a simple superhero narrative, it delves into the complex dual life of Peter Parker and his alter ego Spider-Man. The game doesn't shy away from presenting real struggles and hard decisions, adding a layer of authenticity to the character. The story goes beyond the mask of Spider-Man, exploring Peter Parker's personal life and the challenges he faces. This approach creates a multifaceted character, not just a superhero, allowing players to connect deeply with him. We empathize with his struggles, feeling a genuine desire to see him succeed in both aspects of his life. The side characters in Spider-Man's world are nothing to scoff at either. Each bring unique value to the story enriching the narrative without overshadowing our main hero. These characters are thoughtfully integrated, contributing to the plot's depth and enhancing the overall experience. The villains in Spider-Man also stand out for their complexity. They are not typical antagonists with generic desires for chaos. Instead, they are characters with compelling backstories and motivations, making them almost sympathetic at times. This depth transforms each encounter with them into something more meaningful than a simple battle, adding layers to the game's narrative. The story of Spider-Man is a standout feature, brilliantly weaving Peter Parker's personal journey with the heroics of Spider-Man. It's a story that resonates on an emotional level, making the game more than just an action-packed adventure. The well-crafted narrative combined with the complex cast of characters and villains ensures that players are not only invested in the gameplay, but also in the evolving tale of Spider-Man. Overall, Spider-Man offers a gameplay experience that is mostly consistent in its quality and excitement. The game excels in making players feel like the iconic hero. It's a journey through Spider-Man's world that is as thrilling as it is visually spectacular. And for all the reasons I have mentioned, Spider-Man receives a great score of 8.5.